And good day, everyone. I thought I would uh, start us off on the uh, first hole at Congressional here. What this video is really all about is the things I've learned that I wish I knew before I started my garage sim project. Well, it's been two years. This is my third season in the garage. So uh, first season I did was SkyTrack and I didn't have a screen like this. I just had the net return and a TV sort of thing. Um, and that was fine. Uh, I found chipping and putting not very good with the sky track. Um, so I decided to say that my first uh, thing that I wish I knew um, was to get either the GC quad or um, I got the GC3 here. I highly recommend this thing uh, for garage golf. Um, it's awesome. I'm here in Ontario in the middle of winter and this thing is awesome. Uh, so that's number one, get yourself a, you know, if you can swing it, pay for it, um, it's worth it. And uh, I just can't say enough about it. It's for putting and chipping and everything, driver, you name it, it is simply awesome. Next thing, get a good screen. I got this from Carl's Place. It's uh, got piping all around it, um, just you have to. The other thing though is on the top part there above, okay, like way up top there, Put, put a tarp on there or something so that when the ball hits the upper part of the screen, it will deflect and that'll cushion it a bit. So if you can put like anything, even a sleeping bag, you know, anything over there just to dull when the ball hits and ricochets up. Get yourself a gas, uh, <laughs> a gas heater. Um, it's phenomenal. So it gets place up to 65, which is perfect for golf. Um, the... This thing, I wish I could have got two of them. I would have put them sideways. Um, just, I got this from Net Return. Uh, same thing. Uh, it's just too expensive during COVID to get shipped here, but it's fine. One is all you need. I just got some green turf on the left and some padding here. Uh, this padding is a big deal. Uh, you'll want to make sure that you have a lot of padding. Um, I've got three layers here. I've got under carpet. I've got my, um, you know, just a Forbes uh, hitting mat. Uh, sort of attached here as best I could. Um, but I've also got another layer on the garage floor. So you got your garage floor, got another layer of under rug or whatever they call it. And uh, then you've got your thing, uh, your, your mats. And that works great. Um, I've had no problems with any part of this. Make sure uh, another thing um, is put some foam padding around the metal bar, just that back one and the bottom one. Uh, you don't need to worry about the sides unless you got people shanking a lot or anything. I've never, I've never had anyone hit the side ones. Um, but anyways, that's enough of that. So the other thing, I've got a whole list here I wanted to go over. Um, projector. So with this type of software here, um, the FSX, well, the Foresight Sports software, um, you can use your own camera. You can just take another camera like this you know, backup, you know, everybody's got an old camera or a phone. Um, and you use a program called IV Cam, and it'll turn that into a Wi-Fi phone, a Wi-Fi camera, put it on a stand, like this stand right here. I got off um, Amazon, just standard phone holder stand. It's awesome. It'll hold up, you put it back behind you, and you get the full picture. It's just the greatest thing in the world. Uh, if you're going to do the Wi-Fi, I, I just don't, I don't like Wi-Fi for this. I'd rather run a couple of wires because it's in my garage, um, you know, underneath here. And I use USB into the unit and I also keep power on it just because that's, I don't know, I found that much better. Also with your HDMI cable, run that um, cable off your computer up to your projector. Uh, I did the wireless Google thing and I didn't like it very much and... Because it's a garage, you don't really care that the wires are bundled up there. Um, and the, the other thing, this comes down in the summer, so it's easy. You know, you just take it down and uh, everything's very portable. I'll probably leave that up there. Okay, um, let me see what else do I got here. I wanted to tell people that I've learned. Oh, rendel, <laughs> the render scale setting. This is the most, like, <laughs> this thing up here is a 4K projector. It's just a, a BenQ make sure it's a short throw and hook it up in game mode. So in game mode, you can't kind of have it side to side. You got to have it pretty much head on, um, you know, out of the way of your swing. I've got mine about 10 feet back from the screen. 
everybody always asks how far back and all this. 10 feet back and you can put it as high as you can uh, to try to get underneath the, uh, you know, the top bar there. But that's, we're talking, that thing's up there about eight and a half feet. Okay, so that's how you do that. Put it in game mode and it will be awesome. Um, like that is crystal clear for me. And set your render scale setting, which is in your, this program right here. Foresight Sports, set it to two if you can, which brings me to the computer. Spend some money, get a really nice gaming computer with, you know, the, the gigabytes of RAM and all that crap. Basically, you just want to have, I use a Thunderbolt port to go to the USB, which makes it as fast as you hit the ball. When it hits the screen, it hits the screen. It's like, it's ultra fast. Um, so I don't have any problems with that. That's all I have. Um, I can't tell you how amazing this whole process is now that it's complete. But those are the things I've learned. Um, and, uh, you know, all the best. And uh, if you have any questions, just put them down below and uh, go from there. Thanks.